a very good morning to everyone so today we are going to learn as to how we can create different interactive sites so there are two ways of creating any website the first is we can simply log in to our gmail account and here we can search for this icon okay so this is how we can find the google sites we just have to click on this and this page would appear just click on create we can go to in new sites or in classic sites so you will get the already established templates for various websites but we don't want that to happen so we will go to new sites we'll just wait till this page is opened so this is the default page of any particular website the other way of opening this page is you can simply type in your browser google sites there are two ways in which any website can be made in this particular video we will talk about how to create a website with a single page so this is my first page that would be visible uh, to the uh, viewers whenever they click on my website so you can give it your name so i will delete this and i will write ftp on digital methodology right i can also change this i can make it bold i can give it this or i can give it this it's my choice now let us see if i want to change the background i can also do that so for this we have to click on this change image so as soon as i click on this there are two options i can either go for upload or i can go for select image let us see both the options so if i click on upload it will ask me the path to my uh, saved image that is there on my device I already have a saved image so I'll select that and you can see that on the right bottom it is coming adjusting for readability so as soon as you change the background image the whatever is written on that particular background it will automatically change so that it, the appearability is good okay so this is the artificial intelligence here there is also other option I can go to select image and here i have various options i already have certain background images in my gallery you can also go to any url if you have you can also search for that so if i want to have any uh, picture related to e learning i can click on that and i can use that for my website so these are the various options of uploading a background image i already have that so i need not go for this let me also change the name of my site so i will give it a name i have written it here and i will click so the same name would appear here i can also add a logo if my uh, university has a logo if my institution has a logo i can also put that in my uh, website now let us see how we can uh, go ahead first is click on this header type so when i click on this header type it will ask me whether this name fdp on digital methodology i want it to appear as the whole cover page so the whole space would be taken by this or i want it to be like a large banner so you can see that it is extended or a simple banner or title only okay i don't want it i want a simple banner for my website so i have selected it now let us go and add various content to it on the right hand side you can see that there are tabs insert pages and themes first let us talk about this insert tab in the insert tab there are these four options if i want to add any text box i can click on this and here a text box is appearing i can write anything that i want my viewers to know from this website so i will write the ftp is to enrich the learner with digital 
methodologies to interact sorry with the students right so i have entered a text and if i want that after this a line should come a divider should come so i'll scroll down and here is this option of divider so when i click on this there is a dividing line so whatever i write after this there would be a line in between these two text now let us see how we can add a table of content if any viewer wants to know what is there in my website so if we prepare any article if we prepare any document we generally have a table of content on the front page so if we want to add table of contents click on table of contents on the right hand side and it will tell you that add headings and they will appear on your table of contents so you don't have to write anything in this box you simply go below it right just simply go below this and start writing so suppose i want to give this text a heading of objective so i have written objective in this and i will select the objective and click on this and give it a heading because the table of content would only take whatever is written on this page in the headings if a simple text is written it won't be taken in the table of contents only the headings would be automatically taken in my table of contents so as you can see that objective is here now let us add another text box and in that right uh let us see uh exam okay or let us see who can enroll for the course let us also make this a heading okay so i have made it a heading and it will automatically come in my table of contents below this i can write anything so any student any student with 12th pass certificate okay so this is here so in the same manner i can add number of uh, contents in my table let us add one more content first let us add a divider to this so my con my content is divided i again go back to the text box and i click here duration of the course i'll again select this and make it a heading right and i'll write it will start from 15th june onwards okay so i can see in my table of contents i have all this right now if i want to change the theme okay i don't want it to appear like a very monotonous thing so i can go to the themes and there i can choose the color i want okay so the you can see that the color has automatically changed to pink these are the various colors that i can decide i can also select the writing style okay so i can also select the writing style there is diplomat there is vision there is level okay and in the level also there are various there is impression so it's your choice which theme you want for your website okay now let us see its preview this is the first page and let us see the preview on the top you can see these are the tabs for the undo for the redo and this is the tab for preview so we will click on this and this is how my website front page would appear to the viewers in publish i cannot click, can uh, sorry in preview i cannot click this okay but as soon as i publish my website all these content would be available to the viewers so this is the first video in the next video we will see how to add different pages to a website and how to how to make the website more interactive till then take care thank you